One of the most common questions that I receive regarding watermelons is, how do you know when they're ripe? Well, these summertime treasures like to keep it a mystery. They're simply on a mission to size up and get sweet. But if they're harvested before they're ripe, the deal is off. They're not gonna ripen once you pick them off the vine. A watermelon plant may only produce two to four melons per season, so knowing just when to pick them is critical. Let's take a closer look at some of the clues that these sweet fruits have to offer. What's up everybody, this is Scott from New Garden Road, and I'm here to inform, inspire, and elevate you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and spread the word for me. While you're at it, subscribe and get notified for more gardening action. Encouraging biodiversity and restoring habitat is my mission, one garden at a time. All right, so let's talk about a few of the factors that are really important when you're asking yourself the question, when do you harvest your watermelon? The first one that you wanna consider is sizing up. This is one of the orange glow watermelons that set up this year. Is the watermelon about the right size that you would expect it to be? In this case, this is a giant. It's probably as big as I have grown of this specific variety. They say this one is expected to get up to about 25 pounds. Here's where I wanna highlight some key phrases in these descriptions. It says they can get up to 30 pounds or up to 25 pounds or they range from five to eight pounds and they may not be that big. They could be smaller, they could be bigger and they could still be perfectly ripe. But nonetheless, it's one of the things that you need to look out for and it can be a good indicator for you. The second factor and possibly the most important, according to one Southern Georgia watermelon grower, the tendril. You want to look at that tendril to dry up and I'm talking about the tendril that's closest to the fruit. If you look here at the stem where it attaches to this watermelon it can be a little bit tricky because it's vining out this way. This is coming from the main vine but this is where it attaches to the fruit and if you follow that down to that intersection this is the tendril and it's all the way brown. You see that? The third factor that I do recommend you take a look at is the ground patch. That's the point at which the melon makes contact with the ground and if you gently roll that melon and over it should look to be pale yellow with a matte finish make sure you're careful and gentle when you roll these over to look at that ground spot you run the risk of snapping the stem the fourth factor to look at and possibly the most fun is going to be what's it sound like it really should have a jug-like resonance and sound more along the lines of punk rather than pink or pink. However you want to phrase it or characterize it, that's just a little bit of something for you to go on. While that might not be the most technical of considerations for your watermelon harvesting, it is one of the most gratifying. So that looks really good to me. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this watermelon. Here's another watermelon that's a good contrast to the orange glow. This is a variety called Alibaba. It gets pretty big generally, super delicious. This one's not quite as big as I would expect for this variety. However, this watermelon set about the same time that the orange glow did that I just harvested. So I really feel like it's probably pretty close. Let's check the tendril and we'll check the ground spot. All right, the tendril is all the way brown. If you look at that ground spot, that's exactly what I wanna see. You know, it sounds quite different than the orange glow, but it's also maybe a quarter of the size or a third of the size, so it's gonna sound different. It doesn't really sound like an unripe watermelon to me though. It sounds pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this one. This is the tendril that was for this Alibaba. You can see where the melon was attached here and you can see how brown that is. We've got another Alibaba over here and it is under these southern peas that I've got growing. The tendril's actually holding onto this piece of mulch right here. That was helping me trace it back. It's still green, so I'm gonna let this watermelon continue to mature. This is the early moon beam. This is the icebox watermelon. It's a yellow fleshed watermelon. It's about half the size of what I might expect I wanted to show you some variation in that because although it's one of the criteria that you'd use to determine whether or not the fruit is ripe, along with the tendril, which could be broken or damaged otherwise, you just have to take these things into consideration and make your best call. I'm gonna follow that stem from the fruit up and this is where the tendril is. You see how brown that is? 
Looks ready to me. I'm going for it. I want to talk about the last watermelon of the season that I had this year. I was really anxious and waiting for it to be ripe. We had two weeks of triple digit temperatures. Well, lo and behold, I went out one day with my dogs and one of them started sniffing around that watermelon and I said, okay, what's going on here? That's not a good sign. Sadness, y'all. Not really sure what happened here. i had been watching this tendril. You can see it's still green, closest to the fruit. And sure enough, this watermelon has split open. Not good. I'm not exactly sure what happened, if you know something came along and stepped on it. All I know is that was my last watermelon for the season, so the season's over. I didn't turn that melon over to look at the ground patch. Had I, maybe I would have seen that it was pale yellow and that combined with the sound of it, I might have been inclined to pick it. I think it just points to the importance of taking all these factors into consideration. It's not necessarily going to be perfect every single time. That's just part of gardening. That's part of growing your own food. You can still appreciate them. They're really hydrating. They've got a lot of excellent electrolyte nutrition and they're just going to be gratifying because homegrown melons are fantastic. In the heat of summer, there's not much that's better. Pull them out of the refrigerator, cut them open, and you know, sometimes they hurt your teeth. They're so cold, but I look forward to it every summer. Determining just when to harvest your watermelon is an art. Experience is gonna be your best guide, and the more you do it, the more confident you'll become. But the bottom line is, you just have to give it your best shot. Now check out some of these other awesome gardening videos on my channel. You can grow your own food, keep it organic.